All right, so in this video, I'm going to be making a aluminum pulley. This is going to be for my air compressor. Um, what I'm doing here now is pretty much just uh, reversing the jaws on this chuck. Now, this isn't uh, the chuck that I always use or have been using lately. Uh, I've been using my other chuck, um, which is pre pretty much the same. Uh, it's the same size. Uh, except this one has removable jaws right here and uh, they're removable and reversible so uh, I like this chuck um, the other one I would have to remove the jaws and then install the other second set of jaws it just takes too much time because I have to actually um, slide in the other ones and get them where they close in perfectly and it ends up being a pain in the butt sometimes. So I uh, made this ingot here. I was trying some homemade green sand and I made this ingot which I really like. It came out pretty nice. Um, the grains on my sand are kind of big. So there is quite a... Uh, it's not smooth at all like it should be. But uh, anyways, this this type of chuck I can fit these this large stock on there and what I still gotta do now is just tighten all this down torque it down and just mount up my material but my air compressor pulley gave out on me um, I'm not gonna buy a new one I already bought a new one for it and uh, I'm just not gonna do it I'm not gonna order another one because I could save money that's why I got the lathe here so I can make one this one's going to made, be made out of aluminum, and it's going to have, this is the old pulley that took a dump on me. Well, this is the collar for it. So I grinded up the pulley, or I uh, cut it off the actual pulley, and I kept the collar. And what I'm going to do is make a large diameter uh, V-groove pulley, and then I'm going to be boring it inside. And this is, um, this collar is going to be pressed in and then on the other side I'll have some maybe quarter inch uh, I'll thread this or I'll drill and tap some quarter inch um, threads in here and then the pulley will actually be able I'll be able to remove this pulley and I could put a smaller or a bigger size um, it, it just depends and I'll always have the collar on the engine and I don't have to take off this collar so all I got to do is just change the pulley, which is, seems like a pretty good idea. Um, I would have done a whole solid pulley all in one, but the thing is, I don't have a broaching kit. And I don't have a keyway cutter, so I'm screwed kind of until I actually get that. But once I get all that, I will have no problem making uh, full pulleys with uh, cut keyways. But uh, I'm going to torque this down, mount up the aluminum, and I'm going to start to cut. I'll make sure to take some video for you guys on that. But this is going to be like the before. Um, this is just pure ingot. Uh, this is going to be cut down quite a bit. i got to actually take off all this. It sunk on me.
That's a pretty big cut right there for roughing. Now I'm doing this dry uh, with carbide. That's with the automatic feed on. So that's a smooth cut right there. That's only at 725 RPMs. Just imagine if I were to go higher. Um, let me try for, um, just for the hell of it for the video. Uh, let me try 950. Ah, the heck with it. Let's go to... 1200 RPMs. You can actually see the glare off the off the bit right there, and that's at 1,200 RPMs. Now, just imagine if I were to take maybe like two thousands of a cut. That was actually five thousands. Imagine if I take like two at 1,500 RPM. Um, you can see the you can see the shine of that thing right there. Um, uh, for the hell of it, for the video's sake, I'll try 1500. Actually, 1550. Just so you guys can see the difference there, um, actually it was getting too too hot uh, at that thickness. Um, I should have taken a maybe like four thousands or three thousands. Um, but anyways, that's if you can see the difference there. The fifteen fifty gives a much much better um, sheen to it. You can actually see the tool there. I don't know if the camera might pick it up, but there it is. Uh, but I'm going to finish cutting this, and then I'm going to flip it over and cut off all this other excess part, and I'll turn the camera back on.
Alright, so I didn't get no video of me actually cutting the second groove here. Uh, my camera pretty much filled up last night. And um, it's another night here working on the lathe. So I finally finished with the second groove. And I kind of semi-polished it with some sandpaper. Um, I think I did it with like 600 grit or something. But... I had to mount this pulley on this four jaw chuck and it was kind of a pain in the butt maybe took about five to ten minutes to actually mount everything up um, but I finally got it mounted up to turn true <laughs> Alright, so my collar finally uh, fits there. It's actually quite um, snug. I'm going to have to press it in. But I've already bored it out. And it looks good. Um, I might have some tooling marks though from, from the four jaw chuck. Um, I don't know how exactly I'll go on taking those off. But they shouldn't be too big. They shouldn't be much of a problem anyways. It's almost done. Um, it's probably like 4 in the morning here. I'm trying to get this thing going. Um, I think that's going to be it for, for the night.